G'day all, welcome to Mr. Quiz, the channel where we play quizzes. Great to see you again. Uh, today we're going to do another geography quiz, but it's also a language quiz as well. We're going to be trying to identify 50 countries uh, by the origin of their country name, which should be a lot of fun. Uh, thank you to uh, Booger, Booger for making this quiz. Uh, the quiz link will be in the description below. It has had um, almost 146,000 plays, so hopefully it's um, a good one. Um, apologies for the colour scheme. Unfortunately, it's not the best, and it probably won't show up. But the good news is that when I um, do start the quiz, uh, it will be up top as well. So that will be readable <laughs> on screens anyway we've just started and wasted seven seconds so let's just jump into it so arab royal family that founded the kingdom and still rules it this is saudi arabia founded by the al Saud dynasty then we've got arabic for land of the blacks um okay we shall come back to that one uh saint lawrence Iroquian for village or little settlement uh this is Canada I'm guessing um the clue there was St. Lawrence the St. Lawrence River is um one of the main uh shipping canals in or shipping thoroughfares in Canada uh Portuguese for Green Cape but this will be Cabo Verde Verde being um uh meaning green in like uh, romance languages uh corruption of a local name meaning the sun's origin or land of the rising sun so this will be japan we all know that's the land of the rising sun uh deviation of term meaning land of the franks or land of the free men this is france started off as france here i think uh during the european migrations in the post-roman empire the franks settled in what is now france and then um yeah, eventually became uh, rulers through, like, uh, what's his name? Um, well, eventually, eventually Charlemagne, but before that it was uh, somebody else whose name I forget. Okay, southern Spanish city of the same name. Uh, so this is probably going to be somewhere in Latin America. It is... It's not Colombia, is it? Because that's named after Columbus, Peru, Venezuela... Guiana, Suriname, Paraguay, Bolivia, Uruguay. Um, okay, we'll come back to that one because I will be able to get it. Uh, adaption of Gilbert from the former name of the Gilbert Islands. Um, this is Kiribati. Uh, that is um, from Gilbertese. Uh, diminutive form of Arabic Kut, meaning fortress built near water. Let's say that's going to be Kuwait. Uh, Germanic for lowlands. That should be Netherlands. Uh, King Philip II of Spain, so uh, this will be Philippines. Uh, the Latin word for free, regarding the return of freed American slaves to Africa. Uh, the country set up for that purpose was Liberia, and from liberation as well. Uh, this name comes from the ruling family whose name in German means light, as in bright stone. Uh, this would be the country of Liechtenstein. Uh, biblical name for patriarchal Jacob, so uh, based on the context clues, we can say Israel for this. Uh, probably Latin for to prophesy, and who named thereafter used by fortune tellers and soothsayers. Interesting. So, uh, it could be Vatican City. Yeah, perfect, thinking of the Latin. Uh, we've got a Spanish adaptation of the Portuguese Sierra Leone for Lion Mountains should be Sierra Leone. Fantastic, we're, uh, we're storming. St. Christopher, <coughs> excuse me, the patron saint of traveling in Spanish for Our Lady of the Snows. This will be St. Kitts and Nevis, excellent. And then we've got an English Sanskrit variation of name of the then ruling uh, Qin dynasty. Uh, so this will be China. Great, okay. Uh, the Biru River, named for Biru or Piru, meaning water. I was going to say Burundi, but that doesn't make sense. Um, is it Peru? Yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, Spanish, Bahama, meaning the low, shallow sea. One of the um, techniques here is just to spell it out. So, didn't know it initially, but Bahama, let's try Bahamas. Okay, Protic Celtic, a wedding for the fertile place or place of Aya, a Celtic fertility goddess will be Ireland, Ireland gave that away, and after the indigenous Sotho people will be Lesotho. Okay, another easy one here from Portuguese for St. Thomas and Prince Islands, this will be, hold on, Sao 
Tome and Principe. Sao Time and Principe. I was thinking Caribbean at first, but it's actually African. Uh, south, or, south or Southern, referring to the country's location relative to Samoa. This is interesting. Uh, so Tonga is south of Samoa. Uh, we've got a Swahili version of the name for the kingdom of the 52 pans of the clans of the Buganda people. Uh, drop the B and we get Uganda. Excellent. Uh, from Latin for the south or unknown southern land. This is one of the harder ones, but I'm sure this is going to be Australia. Uh, so you've got like a Terra Australis was um, the proposed continent which was in the south. Um of the world, which was then discovered to be Australia, not quite as large as people hoped. Um, and then you've got like Alor Australis, which means the Southern Lights. Uh, this was named after the first president, Simon Bolivar, uh, Bolivia. Was he president of Bolivia? He was president of Colombia. Um, but at any rate, Bolivia was named after Simon Bolivar. Uh, White Russia is Belarus. And then we've got Arabic Kamar or Khmer, meaning moon, as in Jazir al Kamar, meaning island of the moon. Interesting. Because it's Arabic and island, my first thought was Bahrain, but actually I think this is going to be Comoros. Excellent. Uh, from Portuguese, Rio de Camaros, meaning river of shrimp or river of prawns. It's not Cameroon, is it? It is Cameroon. Excellent. From Latin for silver or land of silver. Again, this is one you probably just need to know uh, from trivia or you need to be able to deduce that silver is... Um, well, silver is AG on the periodic table, right? Anyway, uh, Bengali, Sanskrit for Bengali country. This would be the country of Bangladesh. And then we've got a name coined in 1933 by Muslim... Cambridge student. This is one of my favourite name origin stories, actually. Uh, based on the first initials of words such as Punjab, Afghan, Kashmir, and the suffix of Balochistan. So we get P A K Astan, Pakistan. Uh, the Malay word for frizzy haired or possibly heathen, plus Spanish explorers' observation that locals resembled inhabitants of Guinea in Africa. So this will be Papua New Guinea. I really like this quiz. Good job, mate. Uh, Northern Way. North Way or North Region. Um, feels like it should be Norway. Uh, the finance minister to King Louis XV of France, Jean-Marie Jean Marot de Seychelles. That's an easy one, Seychelles. Probably Persian for 40 tribes, 40 girls or imperishable, plus Persian for place or homeland. Is it just Iran? It is not. Okay. Um, we'll come back to this one because we can just go through countries which are adjacent to Persia or Iran. A province in the Netherlands whose names mean Zealand. So this is New Zealand. Not named after Zealand in Denmark. Uh, this is from a medieval stronghold called Lukenburg, meaning little fortress or little castle, and German for fortification, keep or borough. So we know this is probably in Europe. Luxembourg seems the most likely here. Okay, from the Semitic root LBN, meaning white or whiteness, referenced as far back as the Old Testament, uh, I think we're probably going to be looking at Lebanon here. Excellent, and then the Spanish pronunciation of the name of the city of Marrakesh should be Morocco. That's where Marrakesh is, and it's you can tell it's a derivation. Term in the Declaration of Independence and possibly Amerigo Vespucci, this will be the USA. Italian for Little Venice. Oh, okay. As named by European explorers. So, Venezuela? Okay, that was a complete guess. Uh, Nahua Aztec tribe and its capital city. Mexico, perhaps? Okay, perfect. Spanish for rich coast. Oh, um, Costa Rica. Great. Uh, explore Christopher Columbus. That will be Colombia. Uh, the Khmer Kingdom of Cambodia should be Cambodia, based on the Khmer clue. Um, the capital, sorry, the country's largest ethnic group, the Swana. This will be Botswana. Uh, possibly Sanskrit, Singapore or Singapore for lion city. Singapore is a lion city, plus the other clues match up. 
and from Latin for Sunday, the first day Columbus landed there. Um, so this will be Dominica, right? That's uh, Latin for Sunday. So we've got three more to go in two and a half minutes. Arabic for land of the blacks. We'll come back to this one because I feel like Southern Spanish city of the same name. Oh, okay, this is Granada. Yep, perfect. I was trying to think of places where there was a Spanish city. I knew there was one in there somewhere. And probably Persian for 40 tribes. Um, Afghanistan speaks a little bit of Persian. Azerbaijan speaks like Turkic language more than Persian. Um, oh, hold on. Not Turkmenistan, because it's named after Turkmen, like Tajikistan. Uh, Kyrgyzstan. Okay, Kyrgyzstan, excellent. It's bound to show up in um, sport quizzes. Um, and Arabic for Land of the Blacks. Sudan, okay, perfect. Um, the region of Sudan was called Numidia for a while, I think. Um, but okay, that was fantastic. Um, I'm guessing that um, Sudan might be one of the least guessed, actually, just because it's not quite as intuitive. No, Kyrgyzstan, Comoros, very uh, really guessed, um, which is, I guess it's a bit of a leap to go from Kamar to Comoros. And then, yeah, Kiribati is just, if you don't know it, then you'll just be guessing. But um, the native language of Kiribati is technically called Gilbertese because you can see it's an adaptation of... Um, Kiribati, Gilbert, etc, etc. Um, so yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, and the most guessed was probably Saudi Arabia. Well, it was the first one. France, Japan. That was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for um, making this quiz. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know how you got it on the comments below. There is a link to my Buy Me A Coffee if you wanted to support the channel. Um, that would be very, very much appreciated. But no pressure. You can also send me fun quizzes uh, on my Sporkle um, account. Just uh, message me there. All the details are below in the description for everything. And until next time, I shall see you later. Kaki Bye.